see, there is a huge difference, a huge difference between high voltage and low voltage. You know, a lot of people tell you the difference is, well, anything 600 volts and above is high voltage and anything below 600 is low voltage. That's not really true. Not really true. But, and that, you know, it's one of those things that's not really defined in the code books, low voltage. And, and I think they're trying to create that. But, you know, when you start talking about doing, getting your, your license, getting in, the, the best thing to do is to um, find yourself a company to work for. And when you interview with that company, I've seen somebody just this yesterday or a day before. When you interview with the company, remember, it's not just them interviewing you. It's also you interviewing them. You've got to make sure that there's a good connection. Otherwise, why would you want to work there? Okay. Um, and then, you know, maybe look at some of the certification paths. I, I, don't, I don't recommend somebody going to get a certification if they're jumping from another industry to get into this industry, unless there's a really strong reason to do so. Like, for example, let's say that your dad or your, your mom or your uncle owns a low voltage company. And you know that even though you don't know anything about low voltage, because it's a family business, you're going to stick with it. In that case, maybe get maybe get your certification right out of the gate. 